Yeah, I'm one of the people who's very bullish on AI, which would make sense given that I'm investing in it. But I see it um, not as something that's coming after humans, but is going to augment humans. And in fact, I liken it to the printing press or even language itself. And I pick those two major um, contributions by humans because it accelerated our learning as a species. And so I'm really hopeful that AI is going to be similar to that. It's going to explode our learning. It's going to help us answer questions that have plagued us from our very beginnings and, and help us be better ourselves. I think two really great examples of that, not necessarily things that we're investing in, is Morpheus being used by NASA to understand the images that the Webb telescope is bringing back, and even AlphaGo, which I think got people a little afraid because it beat the Go players. But since then, the Go players are using AlphaGo to improve their own game. And so I think we're going to see that kind of impact from AI across not just what we do as humans, but our industries, manufacturing, supply chain, health, materials management. AI is going to help us learn and unlock unbelievable value. First one I see that's very common is that they're not focused on a sustainable differentiation. And so what do I mean by that? Well, a lot of them are just using open LLMs against common data. And our founder, Rudina Ciceri, likes to call that a wrapper, an AI wrapper. And I don't think that's really where we're going to see a lot of value. There are a lot of companies there that probably will not be with us for the long term. So companies should focus on doing something particular with AI, whether that's a custom or an extended or a wholly novel algorithm or a very unique data set that they can lay claim to. I think that's where it really needs to start. And then from there, they need to make sure they're addressing a very large market. We see some companies trying to automate very low level tasks, it's fine but there's not a great deal of value there. So make sure there's a big value with lots of value you're bringing, a big market with lots of value you're bringing. And then um, make sure you really understand your customer. You understand their metrics and their ROI, and you can succinctly tie what you're doing to delivering ROI for them from day one. Not two years from now, but from day one. And I think that's gonna be a great way for companies to differentiate themselves. There are some that I'm excited about, but that I don't invest in, but the ones that I'm most excited about that we're investing in, and that's partly because they're things that we know well, are what we would call intelligent verticals. So things like manufacturing and supply chain, and we have some great companies in there, including um, Base2 and Verison, really doing some amazing things there. Very interested still in security, compliance, and privacy, and we have you know amazing companies there, including Inrupt and, um, black kite, and then uh, you know another key area for us is smart data. So AI needs a lot of data. There's a lot of process behind AI. So we're investing in some things that will help companies accelerate their AI initiatives, including Telmi and um, Featurebyte. And then the last area is human augmentation, but making sure it's very high value roles and bringing great uh, change to it. So things like sales and engineering, I think are another place. We're seeing some really exciting things happen and we've got a couple of investments there, including Reprise um, and uh, Beacon. So really excited about those areas. I might be a little um, tainted in my view because our fund, Glasswing, was founded by Rudina Ciceri and Rick Grinnell. And today, still 50% of our investing partners are female and 83% uh, of the companies that we've invested in over the last 12 months uh, have diverse founding teams, which is pretty exciting stuff. But what I'm most excited about and that I see happening and I think we need more of is women like Rudina creating their own firms. Um, I think that's where we see real change. So we've got Rudina you know, building her firm, two funds, $270 million um, in assets under management. Maria Serino, who was the founder of Dot 406 Ventures, also in Boston, who's raised over a billion dollars since 2006 and is also investing in 
AI and industry and cybersecurity. And then Dana Grayson, who built her own firm called Construct Capital. I think she's in DC. She's raised about $400 million. Also heavy, uh, investing in heavy industrial areas, robotics and so forth. And I think if we have more women writing checks, we're gonna see more women getting checks.